guys, it's Miranda here with another craft from Medicine Hat Public Library. And today we're going to be doing terrariums. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna be using a fake succulent, um, but I'll be giving you instructions or like the reasons why you build your terrarium the way you do um, if you decide to use a real succulent. Um, the different supplies you need, this is a really simple kind of terrarium. You can use a mason jar, any kind of glass jar. Um, you're gonna need something like rocks or pebbles. Of course, you're gonna need soil, and also it's handy to have some moss on hand. And of course, a little succulent. Uh, so once you get all those supplies ready, we'll be good to start. Okay, we will get started. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna want is a clean jar, clean mason jar, whatever you're using. And you're gonna actually start with the rocks, which I have in a little bit here. So you want the rocks to be, rocks or pebbles are fine, um, but they're important because they act as a reservoir catching the water you use to nourish your succulent if you're using a live succulent. So, and they also just look, it looks really a lot better with them at the bottom. So you're just gonna pop all of those in there. Um, it's good to have a fairly decent, like half an inch at least of rocks and pebbles where the water can fall through. Are you? And then um, you're gonna grab your moss. You can use any kind of moss you want. Um, I'm using dry moss today. And you're gonna wanna put um, a layer just over the pebbles because the moss helps with drainage and to keep your plant from getting overwatered because succulents don't love being overwatered. So you're gonna want just a nice layer on top there and don't be afraid to get in there and squash it down. And then another tip you can use, I'm not today, um, but if you have access to activated charcoal, you would put activated charcoal on top of the moss um, and that just helps to nourish your plant. Um, but this also works just as fine. And then you're gonna wanna put just your soil. Again, you can use any kind of soil. Um, you need enough soil when you're using a real succulent that you can get the roots in there. So um, you don't need to be stingy on how much soil you're using. If the roots don't reach the bottom, it's really gonna, there's gonna be no point to the rocks and the moss. Uh, I'm gonna go right up to the top, I think. So for your succulent, you can have it either stick out from the top of your jar or you can actually have it inside. You can do more than one succulent. Today I'm only doing one, um, but I've seen some online that are super cute when you have a bunch of them and you make kind of like a little garden inside. So you're just gonna press that down. And I've actually put some grass seed in this because um, I'm hoping the grass will grow and create a little bit of a green layer. So if you're using a real succulent, what you're gonna do is you're gonna burrow a hole into the dirt and then you're gonna take the succulent, it'll probably be in a pot, take it out and break the dirt around the roots and then just put it into the hole you've made in the dirt. Um, but since I'm using just this fake one with no roots, um, I don't have to worry about that. And before you put the succulent in, you're gonna put more moss. This just creates just a nice effect at the top um, so that it's pretty more than anything else, um, but it'll help absorb it too. And then you can just take your succulent, or well, if it was a real one, you would have already put it in, um, but if it's a fake one, you can just press it in there. And that's about it. That's how you would make a little terrarium. It's super easy, the items are easy to get, and I hope that you enjoy your cute little decorative piece of art. Thanks for stopping in and watching today.